class, we learned about the quadratic formula. Your homework assignment is right here on the board. It's page 52, 1 through 75. We're good to go. The way teachers teach math is changing. Gone are the days of a teacher lecturing over sample math formulas, then assigning similar problems for homework. Students are now being challenged with problem-based activities and rich mathematical tasks. We really focused on strategies, the five strategies of formative assessment, which are engineering discussion, kids learning from each other, t kids taking responsibility for their own learning, and making the criteria uh, for success uh, explicit. And in that mix as well, the fifth one is giving feedback to students. Feedback that moves the learner forward. The change in student assessment is being driven by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, a math design collaborative brought together with the goal of modernizing math teaching strategies. I, I think that this empowers the students to be there, to own the work a little bit better than what they would have had. Uh, before, in a typical class, I might do some notes, then they would do some examples and if they could copy down what I did, basically they would have it. With this, they actually have to be empowered to think, they have to do the work themselves, they have to make sure that they are understanding as they go forward. So what does the new math class look like? The four parts to each lesson include a pre-assessment, collaborative activity, full class discussion, and a revisit to the initial pre-assessment. In the pre-assessment, students individually grapple with a math concept. The data gathered during the pre-assessment is used by the teacher to guide feedback given to students during the lesson. Each student usually is at a different place in their math learning and by doing the task you can see where each individual student has a misconception and really teach that student and help that student with their particular problems. During the collaborative activity, students gather in groups of two to four to engage in a productive struggle with a mathematical task using group discussion and critical reasoning. I mean, I argued with a lot of my, my friends to try to get the right answers. In these activities, instead of just listening to the teacher, we actually do stuff instead of just listening to her talk or mimicking her problems herself. So we're able to learn um, through figuring out in the tasks, I don't give them answers. I only ask them guiding questions or get them to think about their work in a different way. Um, sometimes I mini-teach if a student has previous knowledge that they're confused about, but a lot of the times I just ask them more questions and guide their thinking to help them along. You ain't gonna have someone just sit there in real life and just talk to you and explain everything to you all the time. Like, they're just gonna hand you something and say, do it, and if you don't know how to do it, then, I mean, it, it's, it's more realistic. For part three of the lesson, students participate in a full class discussion in which they share their findings. The whole idea of languaging the math is very exciting, and I think it's helping the kids understand it better. So you know who has the right information, so you can kind of pick and choose sometimes to call on students uh, just to help direct that learning so they all pick up the vital information that they need at the time. It's not something that the teacher has has put on the board and they've copied down and recreated. It's generated from them. Armed with data from the first three parts of the formative assessment lesson, in part four students revisit their initial pre-assessment and revise it to proficiency. We are giving the teachers replicable strategies for shifting their classrooms towards uh, student-centered and then hands-on and grappling. We talk about creating a productive struggle. When we got the problems and we had to work it out, it actually gave, a, gave me a better understanding of what needed to be done and how to do it and to learn from my own mistakes and it made things less confusing. We are having the students be involved, hands-on. They are deriving the information themselves versus me implementing it. Good question. In Kentucky's Kenton County School District, all math teachers from the sixth grade through Algebra II are implementing the work of the Gates Math Design Collaborative. School leaders there hope changing the way math is taught in the classroom equals a student formula for success after graduation. We're kind of in control of how we learn and the whole situation itself. It's like an orchestra 
uh, leading that orchestra, just going around and, and fine-tuning things here and there and, and working and letting the students move on at their level. A level education officials hope to raise so more high school students are college and career ready. That's perfect.